What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again to the power of the internet. And earlier in the week, we stopped by the post office, and uh, there was a notice in there telling us that there was too much mail, and the mail would not fit in the box. So we got all the pers all the different packages, and we came back two days later, and there's even more. And two days later, there's even more. I'm looking at about a hundred pieces of mail. I could never have expected this kind of uh, outcry of support and kindness and love and all these phenomenal letters. And I promise you I'm going to read every one of them. I'm going to try to get to every one of them tonight, um, though I'm looking at an hour's worth of entertainment here for you. Maybe we'll do it all. Maybe we'll have to break it up into parts. We'll just have to wait and see. But I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the mail. So let's get started. We did have a couple of artifacts over left over from last week. I was hoping um, that if I found out who sent them, I'd be able to thank them personally. I wasn't able to do that. But I did get a copy of this, the Paleo Solution. Um, I've been reading a lot about Paleo lately, and I think it's going to be the next evolution of my diet. Um, I think I'm going to swap from Keto to Paleo, and this book is a great, great way for me to get started in that direction. Whoever mm -hmm. sent it, I want to thank you. But before we get really started, I want to say this. Some of you have spent some real money and sent me some fairly expensive stuff. And while I truly appreciate it, I want to let you know it's absolutely not necessary. I love these big items if they're important to you and if they're, they're rare and they're personal to you. That's awesome. But what I really love, I love the postcards and the letters and the messages and the drawings and the pictures of you. That's just as valuable as a, as, as a game worth $100 or a poster that's impossible to find or a copy of a comic book. That's, I, I appreciate it. If you work hard for your money, I want you to keep it. Okay? All right. Now let's go. Also from last week was this Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag poster, complete with a map on the back. And I do hope to hang this up very soon. I, again, I don't know who sent that, but I really love this art because it's, it's McFarlane. Also, this little dude blew my mind. Completely blew my mind. Wait till you see what he sent. This dude sent me so much Pokemon stuff, it's actually overwhelming. One of my favorite pieces is this Pokedex, Sticker Dex is actually what they call it. I can't wait to, to play with these. I, I love stickers. Um, he sent me a whole host of Pokemon that I want to cover real quick. We have Pikachu. We've got Chimchar. We've got Piplup. Oh, I Oh, I cannot remember his name to save my life. He's the grass starter from, uh, I think, Black and White. We have... I actually don't know this guy. Or... This little cute bastard. Um, or this guy. But, of course, I do know from first generation. Or I think it's first or second generation. Wobble Wobble Anyway, awesome. Absolutely awesome. As you guys know, I love stuffed animals, and I plan to keep these right here on the bed next to my Plants vs. Zombies dolls. I love them so much. Thank you, dude. Uh, he also included, uh, Kalen, I believe is his name, uh, this awesome stylus that goes perfect with my yellow uh, Pikachu 3DS XL and an ancient Mewtwo card, which I've never had. This, this I really treasure. I always want to want. So thank you so much. And of course, this week we have postcards, uh, including this one from the Corn from Cornwall, UK. This one from Honolulu, Hawaii. This one from San Juan. I'm not sure exactly where uh, that's from. Aloha from Hawaii once again. Honolulu. Boop. Boop. St. George's Bermuda. Um, here is from a German soldier station in El Paso, Texas. I hope you're enjoying Texas. It's going to get hot there. And from Boot Hill Graveyard. Whoa. That one's creepy. That one's really creepy. This is Christopher and his girlfriend, Brooklyn. He works for Ice Stream Planet um, and lives in Las Vegas. He sent me an assortment of goodies uh, from Vegas, including... Dice, poker chip, cards, uh, a lanyard, this awesome paintballing style, or a, a, a headband f covered with bullet bills. I absolutely love this. And a copy of The Amazing Spider-Man 700. This was absolutely one of my favorite comics uh, uh, ever printed. Spider-Man being my favorite superhero. Christopher, 
Thank you so much, man. I really enjoyed your letter. Shane sent me a host of collectible items, including uh, this Lady Death card and this Psylocke card, fit, framed, and cased. A copy of his favorite comic book, uh, Razor, which I've never read before in my life. I can't wait to read it tonight. Uh, this Star Wars journal with free birthmark. You son of a bitch, you stole the bookmark, though, he said. And my favorite item, uh, this handmade Yoda doll. Love it, I do. Yes. Dustin S Silwood from Illinois sent me a letter that came like this. Dustin, I don't know what was in here. I'm really sorry that I didn't get it. And I hope you can write me here on Facebook, YouTube, somewhere, and let me know what was in here. Shane also wrote a lovely letter, but he said something that I really wanted to share with you guys. Uh, he himself, being a big guy, uh, has m got to marry the love of his life the way that I hope to in September. Uh, he said that I think the key to finding a good woman when you're big is to overcome or at least learn to mask your insecurities about it. Women are generally turned off by insecure men more than they are turned off because we are overweight. That's the way it seemed to me over the years, anyway. She's helped me more than anything, and I'm happier now that she is in my life, and I'm hoping yours is a great source of happiness for you as well. But that's my advice to any person, big or small. You've got to learn to accept who you are and take care of yourself. Uh, be secure in who and what you are. And it worked for me, it worked for Shane, and it'll work for you. Benjamin King Chicken Wiggly from the UK sent me a Halo wine bag, which seemed to be so very popular in the UK. Should we open it? Well, let's open it. Inside we've got the instructions to put it together. And whoa! This is, this is pretty much Lego. This is, I'm gonna, let me put this together real quick. It's an orange Spartan. Next time I play, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play orange. I'm gonna be orange. James sent me this picture of his mom's boyfriend, Jeremy, who recently passed away. Um, he said that he worries about me uh, passing too. And I worry about it a lot. Um, it's something that's always on my mind with every bite that I take, everything that I do. I see my doctor regularly and I try my best to stay healthy, but you never know when you're this size. But I want to let you know that I think you're doing a lot of good work I read your letter and it looks like you're doing everything you can to make the most out of your life. I want to let you know that I'm glad that he pointed your life in a good direction and I'm glad that I can help steer it there too. Just know that the work that you put in is our legacy and if you ever need to say goodbye to me, um, at least you have all these videos to keep you company. Uh, I want you to know every day that you work hard for me, every day that you do something good for yourself, for your family, that'll be my legacy too. Aiden drew this for me and sent me one of those folded up Chinese throwing stars. Um, small collection of Pokemon cards, and I believe that's Dead Mouth, Dead Mouse. Um, and uh, his letter was beautiful, <laughs> and I, I just wanted to share a little bit of this with you. He um, talks about being big, and he's had a really rough life. Aiden, I just want to say that. Stick in there, man. You've got a few things that are setting you back, but I promise you, you keep working at it, you'll get ahead. I believe in you. A gentleman by the name of Eliahu, Eliahu Evi, I believe is his name, uh, wrote me a letter in reference to my uh, video, How MMORPG Saved My Life, and he wanted to let me know about a resource that I'd love to share with you guys. It's a website called anxietygaming.com. Um, if you're like me, one of the people that turn to gaming because you have a lot of anxiety issues, it looks like a resource that's going to be good for all of us. Anxietygaming.com, please check it out. And dude, I'm so proud of you and so happy that you work so hard to overcome everything you have and now you're giving back to the gaming community. It makes me very proud. Elizabeth from Michigan uh, wrote in and sent me a very heartfelt letter. Uh, she's 15 years old, and she deals with a lot of anxiety issues. She sent me a collection of art, and this piece is probably my favorite, though I found this to be fairly disturbing and kind of haunting. 
Um, I want to tell you that I think your art is fantastic. I think you're moving in the right direction, and I hope you keep going at it. I think you're just going to get better and better. David from North Carolina sent me some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and even snuck in a card from the Star Wars collectible card game. I recognized immediately. David said his brothers make fun of him because he's heavy set. David, I want you to show your brothers this. Stop. Brothers are supposed to rib each other and kind of make fun, but you better be there when David needs you. Brian from Pennsylvania sent me a stack of foil cards, including what's now my fourth foil Oblivion ring. I can't wait to play with it. He also asked me to write him back, which I'm going to try to do. But if I don't get a chance to do that soon, Brian, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to promise me that you'll know that that depression, that anxiety that you have, it isn't you. It's just a small part of you. You can fight it. You can get better. You can be stronger. Kick life's ass, dude. I believe in you. Robert sent me a 1947 quarter, and I'll teach you a little trick here today. If you didn't know that 1947 quarters are still made from silver, they're actually worth about $3.49 worth of silver. Uh, coin collectors value them highly, and I really appreciate it, Robert. Robert also wants to know if I'm going to make more Match at the Gathering videos. He loved it when Francis flipped over the table. Believe it or not, I do have a Francis idea rattling around in my head for Match at the Gathering. I think it'll probably even top the one that we did. I, 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 I can't tell you anymore, but I'm hoping to get it filmed in the next month or so. Aaron Wilson from Lancaster, California sent me a letter <laughs> including this awesome drawing of Batman's um, a hazmat suit and a very creepy tarot card uh, with death on it. Um, he writes a letter uh, talking about things going on in his life that are very similar to the things that I went through. But he said that he's been very happy for the past three years of his life and his video, my videos help prove to him that life can and does get better. And so I want to bear that message for everybody watching. Uh, for both me and Aaron, we went through the thick and thin of it. Um, the reality of it is there were times in our lives where we wanted to give up, um, but we never did. And Aaron's got his reward, and I've got mine. And I promise you, if you hold on, one day you'll get yours too. Jordan sent me an inspiring letter. Uh, this is Jordan. He is, uh, this is in 2008 at the Olympic trials when he finished in a disappointing 8th place which is mind-boggling to me because I can't imagine being 8th place in an Olympic trial. I can't imagine even getting to show up. Uh, but only the top three runners make the team. I had a foot surgery only eight months before, and I had to lose 12.5% of my mass in those months under 60 pounds. He says, I'm asking you to inspire me to lace up my shoes and get it back out the door. Even my joint hurts. Even uh, get out the door when my muscles are screaming at me. Get out the door when it's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Get out the door when the na new game comes out. Get out the door when all I want to do is sleep. Get out the door. We only get one story. Will it echo in eternity or never be whispered? Jordan, I can tell you that I hear absolutely everything you're saying. And I promise you, I'm going to keep working hard. I'm going to make sure that I'm moving forward. He also says something that I think I'll never forget. He said that, when I lose weight, when I succeed, I inspire my fans. And on the days that I can't lose weight, and on the days that I can't succeed, you guys inspire me. And it's true, Jordan. It's really, really true. Uh, a man who wants to stay uh, anonymous, but his name is Blue, wrote me and uh, really made me laugh with his PS. He said, I hate sound to sound condescending by saying this, but your efforts to lose weight are really paying off. I'm not gay, but I still think you're one sexy mf -er. uh, But uh, he says that um, he's not exactly in the best place mentally right now. I'm actually in a very depressed and anxious state of mind. It's actually kind of hard for me to get through a normal day without being pissed off or tired or feeling kind of tormented by inner thoughts. The fact that you've gotten through these things like that inspires me to get myself through all those issues. He also says that he'd like to be an entertainer one day. Well, I want to tell you my advice. When those nagging thoughts are there, when it's very, very difficult to get through a day because of stress, because of frustration, because of anxiety, because of depression, I have a very simple mantra that a therapist taught me when I was a very young period of age. Fake it till you make it. And what this means is if you give in to the depression, if you give in to the anxiety, if you give in to the misery and act like an anxious 
undesirable, miserable, depressed person, it's very difficult for people around you to relate to you and to connect to you and do good things with you and, and have positive interactions. You have to learn to fake those emotions that you want to have. And I know that's difficult. I know that's hard. And I know it seems empty. But one of the most fascinating moments in my life was the very first time that I realized I was faking joking around with my friends but call myself really genuinely laughing if you can learn to do that you can learn to do anything and it'll make you a hell of an entertainer because you'll become an incredible actor because you'll be practicing acting every day so good luck I believe I'm pronouncing this right Kohol from Ireland sent me this drawing which is a little difficult to make out here but I really like it Hey Boogie, coming at you live, pre-written by a great artist. I love that. I mean, ask if I play Minecraft or Terraria. Uh, when I first found out about those games, I played them so, so much, putting many, many hours into it. These days, I just don't have the time for gaming. Um, I'd love to add you on Steam, but most people that I add on Steam just end up disappointed. So I, I don't really do that, but I really appreciate you asking. This anonymous letter comes from Rochester, England. Pascal from Chicago, Illinois, sent me what may be one of my favorite drawings of all time, uh, including the Skyrim helmet, uh, Pac-Man wearing, uh, saying, my master boogie, the broken guitar crawling out. <laughs> Just, this guy has seen all my videos and has put them together in, in a masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece. Ryan from War Fort Wayne, Indiana, sent me this uh, fairly expensive magic card. It's a nickel bolus from the Shards of Alara block. It's got a little crease in it, which I think makes it even better, because I'll always know which one came from him. I can put it right into my collection. He wrote something that I think I'd like to share with you. He says, I love playing video games, Matter of the Gathering, Dungeons of Dragons, and League of Legends. That's me, and no one can take that away. He talks about how his family and friends... And people at a school make fun of him for a speech or for being big. But that's one of the most beautiful things about being a gamer. Being passionate about anything, but even video games, especially video games. You and I get to experience many, many lives in the form of those games that are so much better than the ones that we were dealt. And that's why I'm a gamer. And you're right. No one can take that away from me. Jonathan from Pembroke Pines sent me this collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, including a... My second copy of A Blue Eyes White Dragon, he said this card has been with him since the very first time he played uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. He went on to say something that I wanted to share with you. Uh, my littlest uh, brother showed me a video of some guy getting mad and going ballistic about his Mountain Dew. And from that moment on, you came into my life. To this day, day I still cry tears of laughter every time I watch that video. What that video shows me was that this fat guy had no shame in what he was doing. Bottom line... When I want something, you do what you gotta do, right? And fuck everybody and what they think. This is who I am. Well, I'm glad that Francis could teach you that lesson, even though Francis is a made-up character. But yet, I'm the fact I had actually... The point that I'm making is, man, I'm glad that I make you more comfortable in being who you are. Neil from the Netherlands is one of the people who suggested I do my Draw My Life on Twitter. If it wasn't for you, Neil, I probably would have never done it. He also sent me this very awesome draw drawing. It's Raid Night, bitches. We got these two postcards from Iceland, which is very, very cool. Um, uh, Roffler says that depression is a chronic disease, in my opinion. It's something that stays with you forever and is always lurking under the surface. It can strike at any time, and when it does, it's important to keep a positive attitude. And then sarcastically he writes, as if that is possible. And you have to be open about it to your loved ones. Well, I have to tell you that even though my life is going exactly the way I want it, I struggle with some of those anger issues, those violent tendencies, some of the depression and other things that I have dealt with in my entire past. But I have to let you know, every day is a battle, and every battle is can be won or lost, but at the end of the day, it's a war. It's a lifelong war, and you just have to try to come out ahead. I wish you the best of luck, and uh, I hope I have the same luck. Kyle and Patrick, who, uh, by the way, one of them makes uh, videos here on YouTube at GameVids247. This is them. They sent me a drawing for a great idea for a Francis video. 
And guys, I think I might actually shoot that. I think I really might. Joseph from North Carolina sent me these very cool Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And Joseph, I have a bit of advice for you, dude. Stay alive. Trust me. It gets better. Jared from Hastings, Pennsylvania said that uh, he likes to talk to kids he meets on games and on Skype because they don't make him feel like a loser uh, just because he's a little overweight. Uh, he says he's 13 years old and he's dealt with bullies most of his life. Uh, the reality of it is we all deal with our bullies, but you're dealing with it the right way. You're getting through it. And one day, I promise you, those guys will just be a distant memory. Ariza sent me a very private piece of fan mail, but I wanted to share this awesome um, envelope slash letter. Like, I've never seen this style of something before. I've never seen anything like it. This is now definitely one of my favorite letters. Thanks for the letter. Riles, who makes uh, YouTube videos here on a channel called Orphan Chocolate here on YouTube, drew his life for me quite literally across this notepad. It is without a doubt one of the most innovative things I have seen, and I got quite the chuckle. Thanks so much for this, and you guys should check him out at Orphan Chocolate here on YouTube. Out of the weirdest requests, uh, I think, so far, uh, Tommy asked me to tell his friend Robert a few hateful things in the Francis voice. Well, I'm going to do it. Robert, you suck! You suck, you stupid flag butt! Paige sent me this magnet, and this magnet corresponds with a disease called intracranial hypertension. Um, it's like living with a large brain tumor without the tumor. Apparently only about 26,000 people in the United States suffer from that disease, and Paige is one of them. She set up a resource on Facebook.com where if you or someone you know uh, suffers from this disease, you can go and share in resources and support. It's at Facebook.com slash Life with IIH. Check it out. Matthew from Newport Beef Beach sent me this very cool 1887 Indian penny. I've never seen one of these in my life, and my grandfather was a coin collector, so I'm fairly surprised. Matthew, I really appreciate the gift. Uh, he also goes on to say that um, he's not brave enough to show off uh, his body the way I do on YouTube because he's a little big. Well, Matthew, I want to let you know, eventually you will be comfortable in your own skin. You'll find people around you who are comfortable looking at it and be comfortable around you. And I hope football is the right answer, uh, right answer for you because it really was for me. It was a great self-esteem builder, and I hope it is for you too. Anthony wrote me and sent me these two Pokemon cards, including a Japanese Machamp. He also said he lost his brother in 2008 due to complications of his weight issues, and he's worried about losing me as well. Well, I promise you, buddy, I'm fighting every day to stay right here with you, and thanks for writing. Kyle from Madison wrote me to say that he was in a tragic car accident that nearly took his life, and that he was hospitalized for 45 days. It took him a long time a lot of physical therapy and an incredible amount of pain to crawl his way out of that bed and work his way into getting better. And he says that if he can do it, so can I. But I want to let you know, Kyle, that right here behind me on this bed is my new set of weights that I bought just a couple of days ago after reading this letter. I want to let you know that I am going to work my ass off. I hope that you see some results soon, and I want you to know that you truly inspired a lot of those results. Tyler sent me this drawing of Spider-Man and this drawing of Thor. He said he drew it when he was in Juvenile Hall. He said one day he had thought about killing himself and even went as far as to pull, put, the, put a gun to his head, but he could not pull the trigger. He thought about my videos when he did. Tyler, I'm so glad that you're still here with us. I'm glad that you're keeping on, and I'm glad that you made the right choice. Know that death is inevitable. You'll eventually die anyway. Just live life to the fullest before. Dylan Hollis from the small island of Bermuda sent me a uh, message pointing to me to a song that he wrote. Uh, the song is called Chords of Humanity. You can find it here on YouTube. Uh, Dylan, it was a beautiful song, and I really enjoyed listening to it. I wanted to let you know, uh, I also wanted to share something that he said that I think is quite awesome. 
He said, uh, we live in a, a place with a population of 62,000. Luckily here we witness an interesting phenomenon in our schools where bullying is becoming non-existent due to the fact that everyone practically knows everybody. You'd get a scalding quickly. You can't take a shit without stinking up half the country. Mind you, we have some serious gang issues, but they're normally resolved between themselves. I really do think that accountability is the key to stopping bullying. And it sounds like everyone there is accountable for their own actions. I really enjoyed your letter, dude. Thanks. Tyler sent me his good luck charm and a couple of drawings from... I never really played Zero, but I, I love, love that Psycho. Beautiful drawing. Thank you very much, dude. We've got another painting from Faye. This time, Pope Francis. And now this. This one I like even better than the last one. Chase writes me and says... Boogie, I just wanted to let you know that I've lived with extreme anxiety and tic disorder. It's taken me out of school, therefore I have no friends. I'm extremely socially awkward. Never really had any friends to begin with. My anxiety's made me afraid to leave the house and to be around people. Your videos really inspired me to get out of my house and start making friends. Your videos make me feel like we are actually close friends, even though we do not know each other. In this package, I've included two pieces of my art. Yes, they are both mine. Ignore the completely different styles of my favorite comic book to say thank you for helping me out. Well, Chase, I really did enjoy the, the drawings. This is very, very cool. But Slender Man holding Minecraft Boogie's hand makes me laugh. And I love Doctor Who, and I'm going to enjoy this comic. But I want to let you know that you made me realize that I'm reaching a lot of people that are uh, very difficult to reach. You may not know this, but I was once a shut-in for almost seven years of my life. I really didn't leave the house, and other than my good friend and roommate, uh, I never really inter interacted with a lot of people. And uh, I want to let you know that uh, people over the internet, videos and, and, and things like that, reached out to me. I'm glad that I'm able to reach out to you. Good luck, Chase, and whatever you decide to do. Joshua from Australia said, I inspired him to lose 35 kilogram. Great job, dude. Stephen Casey said that uh, my video about what it's like to be broke uh, really touched him. He sent me this uh, Pokemon shit. Shit, I think. <laughs> That sounds like shit, doesn't it? And he sent me this pack of Pokemon cards to open live. So let's rip this sucker open. <laughs> I haven't opened a pack of Pokemon cards. So our rare. Well, we got a foil Matang. That's pretty cool. And it looks like our rare... Stage two seismitoad. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's any good or not. But dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Gregory Jensen went above and beyond the Call of Duty and sent me the new Daft Puck album. I'm gonna enjoy that on a road trip coming up with my fiance. Said not sure if you like Daft Punk at all. I do. I've been tweeting about him all week. Uh, but good people like you deserve to listen to good music. Thank you for inspiring so many people and being such a positive individual. Well, Greg, thank you very much for the gift. This awesome, awesome drawing came with no return address or no message, but I love it. This drawing came from, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, came from The Look at Helena, Michigan, and man, I love this one. For some reason, it makes me want to play Diablo again. It makes me thirsty for Mountain Dew. Microwaved Mountain Dew. Adam Cryer sent me this picture of a very intense boogie. He says, I'd like to thank you for helping so many and myself uh, by being able to show the world that it's okay to be yourself. Uh, thanks for helping me bring out the power within. It's a very intense boogie. Arr, 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 I'm so intense. I love the drawing, Adam. Thanks. Adam also sent me this Yu-Gi-Oh card that he says he carried around with him for quite a while. He says he's not going to need it anymore. But don't be cryptic like that. That's scary to me. But I'm glad to have the card. And the final letter that we're going to read this week uh, comes from Zach from Utah. Utah, I, 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 Zach, I just want to let you know that uh, my family and your family have a lot in common. And I'll just leave it with that. It's a complicated situation for sure. Um, but I do want to talk about how phenomenal it is that you got your Eagle Scout. I'm very, very glad to have this awesome uh, patch from your Jamboree. I remember our Boy Scout Jamboree and it was a phenomenal time. And I wanted to thank you for these comics 
and this is mind-boggling. If you're a comic fan, uh, or if you love Batman, you're going to know what these are. He said he found them in a house that he lived in. These are the first four, the four original Dark Knight comics. Wow. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thank you. I really look forward to reading it, and I'm so glad to add them to my collection. Zach also mentions that uh, he is getting a PC for his uh, graduation gift from his parents, and uh, he asks what gaming laptop he should get. Um, if, for those of you who know laptops a little better than me, Jay, I'd love it if you could answer his questions in the comments below. Personally, if money was an object, I personally would recommend a high-end Alienware, but I don't really know, but hopefully somebody in the comments will know better than me. So that's going to wrap it up for our Monday mailbag for this week, our fourth total Monday mailbag. I appreciate all the letters, all the comments, all the postcards, and even though we're getting such an overwhelming number, I promise to do absolutely everything I can to keep up, to read every letter, and to comment on them here. I may not be able to write everybody back. I may not be able to send something back. I'd love to, but at this point, we've got almost 400 pieces of mail piled up here. I, I don't know that I could, I could even find the time, but I just want to let you know I love you for it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.